konnichiwa! Hello, my name is Mickey, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on smoky eyes. Now, if you can't tell already, I have smoky eyes on. I will be showing you guys how I personally do smoky eyes. If you guys haven't noticed already, I have hooded eyes, and for me, I feel like hooded eyes are like the hardest eye shape to work with. If you have hooded eyes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna be creating this look right here with only this palette. So if you're interested in a smoky look for hooded eyes, then just stay tuned. I'm gonna apologize first and foremost because I look like shit, I feel like shit. Today has just been a really, really shitty day for me. My depression, my anxiety, just everything is like really screwing with me. So I just wanna apologize if I seem a little bit off. I mean, even looking at this bun right here, you can tell my life is just not all together today. But we are here to do a smoky eye. I'm gonna be using my beloved Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I absolutely love this palette so, so much. It's actually the first palette that I bought when I first came to the States. You have every single neutral color in here. You have warm tones, you have cool tones. I feel like this palette is so versatile that you can use it for day look, night look, whatever. And so today we're going to be doing a smoky eye with this guy. I've already got my eyebrows on. I got some foundation. Now the way I do certain eye looks, it's really weird. I do all foundation except my under eye area because when you're doing smoky eyes, you get a lot of fallout. After I go ahead and do the smoky eye, I'll add all the other good stuff to my face to bring the look more together. Also, disclaimer, Disclaimer on this, it is on sale right now for like $27, I believe, on Sephora and Ulta, maybe even at Macy's. So you may want to check that out because I believe this thing was like $50. $54? Not sure, don't quote me on that. But if you wanna get it, now is the time to get it because it is on sale. Okie doke. So I got you guys zoomed in and you guys can kinda notice that I had a lot of trouble with my brows today. I actually did my brows twice and they still look like shit. So don't pay attention to my brows. We are here for the smoky eye and that's what we're gonna do. I have already primed my lids. Now the first thing is transition shade. Basically for this smoky look, you're gonna be using a bunch of transition shades so just bear with me here it's all about blending and taking your time especially when you have hooded eyes like mine because they are a pain in the ass to create any kind of look with first I'm gonna take my morphe m505 brush I love this brush because it is a great size for like my entire lid area and my crease and the hood of my eye. First color we're gonna go into is Commando. You are going to blend that all over the lid like so. I'm gonna keep this color right below where the tip of the brush is, just because with hooded eyes, if you bring it up too far, it's gonna look super weird. You're gonna look like you have raccoon eyes and nobody wants raccoon eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and blend that Commando color. Next, we're gonna actually take a smaller blending brush. I'm gonna be using the Sonia Kashuk Blending Crease Brush. As you can see, the Sonia Kashuk brush is smaller than the Morphe brush, not by much, but it does have shorter hairs and that's what we're looking for right now. I'm gonna take that Sonia Kashuk Blending Crease Brush, which by the way, y'all need to check out Target because Sonia Kashuk has some amazing brushes that she came out with. Next, we're going to take this shade right here called Tempted. It is a little bit darker than Commando. It is a cool taupe color. We're going to blend this the same, just like we did with the Morphe brush and the Commando color, but we're going to keep it a little bit more below, as you can see right here, I'm blending a little bit below Commando. Once you have Tempted blended out, we're gonna start going into the darker colors to make a smoky eye. Now with this, you're gonna, again, want a smaller brush than the Sonia Kashuk brush. Next, I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics Dome Blending Brush from the Rose Quartz set. As you can see, there's a little bit of a pattern here. We're basically going down little by little using a smaller brush each time. Now that we have our transition shade down, we're gonna go in with another transition shade, but this is to kind of get that smoky look going. We're gonna take this color right 
right here called Magnet, and it is a very cool tone gray. With hooded eyes, it's a little hard to explain, but when you're looking straight forward, the hood covers a little bit of your lid, and that is where you want to put the gray. So you don't want to go on the hooded part, and you don't want to go on the lid. You want to go on both. So basically right in the middle. Instead of raising your eyebrows and trying to get as much space open in there as possible, you kind of just want to look straight forward and apply the color on both the hood and the lid just to begin with. You don't want to go any more above that. I'm not going to bring it all the way into the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to leave about one third open. Once you have that little outline going, now you can go ahead and Open your eyes up a little bit more. You're gonna see the middle part right here is not blended. There's no eyeshadow there. So you're gonna take that magnet color, just keep blending and blending until everything is nice. Again, with this eye, you can see a lot more that there's nothing in the middle because when you have hooded eyes, usually the hood of your eyes kind of covers your crease, which is what is showing right now with no eyeshadow. That is where you want to put more of that magnet color. I kind of wanted to point something out. If you're someone with hooded eyes just like me, you will notice that sometimes one hooded eye is a little bit bigger than the other, meaning that one hood will cover a lot more of the crease and the lid space than the other. And that is exactly what my problem is. This lid is actually a lot smaller than over here. So you kind of want to be careful to make sure that your eyeshadow is even. First, you obviously want to differentiate which one is the bigger hooded eye. So for me, that is this side right here. So anything that I do to this eye has to resemble this eye. Because my hooded eye over here is a lot smaller than over here, the eyeshadow on this eye is going to tend to be a lot higher than it would over here. So as this one gets higher, you want to be sure to raise this one as well. Not too much because then you're going to have a raccoon eye over here and then have a nice looking eye over here. So you want to make sure that when you look forward that everything is the same height. You want to make sure that wherever your eyeshadow stops is equal to the other eye. The eye with the bigger hood if that makes any sense to anybody out there. Another perfect example is when I tilt my head down and look up. You can see I have a lot more eyeshadow popping out over here than I do over here. You want to fix that. You want to go ahead and look straight forward and tilt your head down and you want to bring that eyeshadow up to match the other eye. So that is exactly what I'm going to do here. I don't even have any eyeshadow. I didn't add any eyeshadow. I'm just using whatever is left on the brush and blending out what is already on my eyes. And there we go. If I tilt my head down and look up, you can see that I have an equal amount of height to the eyeshadow on both eyes. Now we're gonna go into a kind of dark warm brown color because I kinda wanna add a little bit of brown to this before I put the black on top. That way the black will look a lot more blacker. I'm gonna take this color right here, lock out. So like I said, I'm having a tough day today and I forgot to push record. And I already went ahead and blended out the lockout color on both lids. All I do is take the lockout color and my buffing blender brush from BH Cosmetics. All we're doing here is just adding a little bit more color to that magnet color so we have more opacity for when the black actually goes onto the lid. I know that it may look like it's not blended very well and it's a whole mess, but we're gonna get to that in a second, so don't you worry. Next, like I said, we're gonna take that black color in the palette, so it's gonna be this guy right here, Black Jack. I'm actually gonna take the Sonia Kashuk brush that we used earlier and just lightly tap in the blackjack because with hooded eyes, you wanna build the smoky eye. You don't wanna just all the black and then have a raccoon eye. So we're gonna go in very easily with this and we're just going to blend. Again, you don't wanna go anywhere above the magnet and the lockout color, which are the two previous colors that we used before. You wanna keep everything kind of below that so we have a nice blend at the top. Okay, 
So I have black jet blended out. I know some people may look at this and be like, that's not a smoky eye. That's not a black, that's not black enough. To me, I just really don't like super black smoky eyes. I don't know why. I just feel like they don't look very good on me because ever since high school, whenever I did like really dark black smoky eyes, people would think that I was like goth or something. And I don't know, that has just resonated in my head. And so I just don't do a lot of like super duper dark black looks anymore because I'm not goth. I just like black like almost everybody else on the face of the earth. So I am just going to stop with blackjack right where I'm at. We're going to work on the inner corner of the eyes that we have neglected thus far. I wanted to mention a tip to you guys, how I clean my brushes in between each colors. I actually have one of these face rags. Uh, I think they're called face ra facial rags. I'm not really sure. Anyways, it's like the super teeny tiny rag that you can clean like tables and stuff with. I usually just take this out and I'll use one side for one makeup sitting and then you know the next day I'll use like the other side and I'll just keep using it until the entire towel just gets kind of dirty and then I'll throw it in the wash with bleach knowing that it's getting sanitized it's clean and then I use it over again you don't really need to go buy anything to you know change if you have some of these face face cloth that's what it's called washcloth that is what it's called so if you have any washcloths just laying around you can easily take your brush and just wipe it back and forth on the washcloth and it'll get most of the color out. So there's a little tip for you guys. I'm gonna take my dome blending brush from BH Cosmetics that we used earlier. We're gonna take this little yellow shade right here. It's a really light pastel yellow. This is called pregame. And basically just adding this to help blend the inner corner with the rest of the look. What I'm gonna do next is I'm just going to take a clean brush, this has nothing on it, and I'm just going to blend the edges. And I'm just going to keep blending until I feel there's no harsh lines and to make sure that everything just flows very, very nicely. So once you've spent an entire week blending those edges out to make it look like you have a soft, nice transition, we're going to take some eyeliner and smoke it out just a little bit more. I'm going to take my little trial travel size Marc Jacobs black pencil. I'm just going to line my lash line. I know the eyeliner is super wonky, super crusty, but that's okay because what we're going to do next is take any kind of smudge brush that you have. I'm going to take my e.l.f. smudge brush. You want to make it as smooth as possible so you don't have any like crunchy eyeliner. Once that is smudged out, I'm gonna go back in again with my Sony Kashuk brush, take some more blackjack and blend that in. Now that you've added blackjack on top of all of that, we're gonna finally get into the lower lash line. I'm gonna take my buffing blender brush from BH Cosmetics. Instead of using the first color that we used before, which was Commando, we're gonna go a step over and we're gonna use Tempted. And I'm just going to buff it onto my lower lash line. Now that I have tinted blended out on the lower lash line, I'm actually going to take the brush that came inside of the palette and I'm gonna use the big end, the fatter end of the brush. And we're gonna go into that same color magnet that we used on the lid. I'm going to put this closer to the lash line than I did with Tempted. I'm only blending this up to my tear duct, which is right here. And then I'm going to leave the rest of the inside open. Now that we have that blended out, I'm actually gonna take the smaller end of the brush that came in from inside the palette, and we're gonna go back into Blackjack, and we're actually going to just kind of stamp it onto the lash line and a little bit on the water line. I'm 
I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs liner again and I'm going to place this on the waterline. After that, you can take a smudge brush and you're going to smudge the whole thing out. The last finishing touches. I'm actually going to go in with this brush again, except I'm going to go in with the small smudge side. And I'm going to take the only shimmer shade in this palette called Blow right here. And I'm going to place this right in that inner corner that we left blank earlier and also on the inner corner as well. I'm going to add that a little bit to my brow bone as well. Okie doke. So that is it for eyeshadow and eyeliner. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on mascara, some falsies, and finish up the rest of my face, and I will be right back. Here is my finished look. I'm actually really digging this look. Maybe it's the lipstick. It's going really good with the smoky eye here. But uh, I'm going to go in and tell you guys what I put on my face for mascara. I went in with the Essence Volume Stylus. I'm wearing the Everlash Co. Luxury Lashes and of course Luscious, which are my absolute all-time favorite lashes ever. On my lips, I am wearing Cougar from Lime Crime. I went ahead and popped in some highlight on my inner corner. I used the Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise highlight palette. In the inner corner, I have Vacation, and then on the cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and nose, I have Vacation and Baby Girl mixed together. And I think that's it. Oh, for blush, I'm wearing Physicians Formula Multicolored Blush. For the contour slash bronzer, I use the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And that is it for this look. I don't know if it was the primer that I used, but for some reason, this eye, I was having a lot of trouble blending. I know it's not the eyeshadows because I use those eyeshadows all the freaking time. But for some reason over here, you can see it's not blended very well. Obviously, there's room for improvement. I really hope this helped someone out there or that you guys just enjoyed this video. If you guys like videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down in the comment section. I feel like my comment section is very bare lately. If you guys have anything to say, you know, don't be afraid to speak up in the comment box. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe. If you have any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or if you simply want to talk shit, Leave it on the comment section down below and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.